Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by to watch this video in which I talk about two men's products, more specifically two beard balms from Oak City Beard Company. Uh, the first beard balm is called Sandalwood Bourbon and the second is called Supreme. Now at the outset, let me say that this is going to be somewhat of a preliminary review uh, regarding these two beard balms. Uh, my beard is in an early phase uh, and the hair is just not long enough for me to be able to speak about uh, manageability control and, and uh, the styling uh, capability or the ability to style my beard uh, with either of these two uh, beard balms. Uh, so I'll give I'll open the packaging and uh, uh, you know give my reaction and my impressions and then I most likely would like to revisit uh, the effectiveness uh, of uh, these beard balms uh, in uh, the future, hopefully the near future on uh, my channel here. So with that said, let me go ahead and get the packages and let's open them up and uh, take a look at these two beard balms. Got the two packages here. I really like that the company sends uh, the beard ball uh, in these bags. Uh, I think that shows that they, they care. Uh, I've received uh, you know, many beard balms uh, from other companies and uh, they don't uh, do that. So uh, that I think is a, is a nice touch. Uh, and the other thing that I noticed right away was that uh, typically uh, the beard balms, many beard balms uh, come in uh, you know, silver colored tins. And this is uh, a really nice uh, container. Uh, it it has it's, it's black. Uh, it's uh, seemingly made out of plastic, uh, and uh, it, it I think it really looks nice. Uh, so uh, they really did a good job in terms of presentation, uh, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, let me get my glasses. All right, so this is the Supreme, and this is the Sandalwood Bourbon. I want to show you what the labels look like. And I have to say that I really am excited about uh, having these two beard bombs, and I really hope that I'm not let down. I hope that this smells amazing. Nice, very nice. Okay, that's the Supreme. I'll talk about this in a moment. Sandalwood. Okay. It's nice. I think I like the Supreme, at least in terms of smelling it right out of the, I uh, can't call this a tin, right? right out of the jar. Often in the product page, it's difficult uh, to see what the color is, and sometimes the color may be slightly different uh, than the photo when you receive it. So this is what it looks like. It's white. This is the Supreme. And the sandalwood. So I think the Supreme, well, I was going to say the Supreme looks wider. I don't know. No, I think the Sandalwood, you might mean, I think this one, the Sandalwood is whiter in color. Uh, and another thing that I'll point out, uh, this is hopefully all, some of this is helpful. I do see some condensation uh, on top of the balm. Uh, I 
you know, it's watery on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm not suggesting that's something bad, uh, uh, but I just would point that out. Uh, and now I just want to uh, collect my thoughts about the way that these smell. But before I try to convey what they what they smell like to me, I'm just going to again kind of keep thinking about it. Uh, but let me show you what the consistency is like. I like the consistency. It's very smooth. Uh, and in terms of the consistency, there, are, there isn't anything grainy in it. Often beard balms will have uh, a grainy texture. Uh, I wouldn't call this very waxy. It's not buttery. It's somewhere in between. And I'm putting on probably more than I need to. In fact, I know that I am. And uh, this will give you a sense of the sheen. It's, it's not as oily as other beard balms that I have used. I like the smoothness. So in terms of the Supreme beard balm, uh, so it says Supreme, and then underneath that it says bergamot, cedarwood and amber. Now I like all three of those scents and that's why I was excited about this. Um, I'm not an expert at fragrances and so forth and I'm definitely not an expert at, in conveying uh, precisely uh, you know what a product smells like. I do my very best but uh, that's why I want to hold off and kind of collect my thoughts but uh, you know, bergamot, cedarwood, and amber, and it was really the bergamot that uh, I, I was really excited about, uh, and so that's why I really wanted to get this, this Supreme. Uh, now, it has coconut oil. I like coconut oil in my beer products, and it has beeswax. That's the second item listed, and that helps uh, with the hold, uh, control uh, of the beard. Uh, and it has safflower oil. I'm, I don't know much about that at all. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing it right. Uh, jojoba oil. I know about that. And I like that. And that's an excellent ingredient for beard products, both beard balms and beard oils. Castor oil, which as I understand it, is excellent for uh, beard products as well, beard balms and beard oils. And then it says fragrance. And the last item listed is vitamin E. This is, did I mention that? This is a two ounce container or jar. Uh, and that's the Supreme Beard Balm. Now in terms of telling you what's in the sandalwood bourbon, that'll be very easy because in terms of what's listed, the ingredients are the same. Uh, and yeah, I'm just double checking. Yeah, the ingredients listed are the same and in the same order. Uh, so I guess the difference would really be uh, the fragrance, the fragrance part where, you know, again, it says fragrance, that's an item that's listed. But uh, in the sandalwood bourbon, uh, underneath that, it says sandalwood, in terms of the scent, sandalwood, bourbon, and mahogany. And that just sounded good. I like the way sandalwood smells, and I love the way bourbon smells. Uh, I had a beard product, and I might buy that one again. I'm getting off track here, but it was a beard balm, and I think I had the beard oil, too, yeah, that had... Uh, it had bourbon and it smelled absolutely amazing. So in any event, I don't, this does not smell distinctively bourbon to me and it doesn't 
doesn't jump out. I don't, I don't get that. It's pleasant, but uh, I don't really smell it uh, at all, the bourbon. I don't know that I'm savvy enough, sophisticated enough to be able to uh, smell and detect and know what the mahogany would smell like. Uh, it is pleasant and it's a soft, subtle sort of smell. They both are fresh. Again, I have to collect my thoughts about the way both of them smell to try to describe it. Uh, I also want to get my wife's opinion. And as you can tell, I put the Supreme on. Uh, so later on, I'm going to wash my face later in the day. I'm going to wear this and try to get a sense of, uh, you know, initially how, uh, get an initial understanding of uh, how this works in terms of moisturizing and, and shine and, you know, and so forth. I won't be able to speak to control and manageability and all of that, but I'm going to wear this for a little while and I'll, I'll, I'll be back uh, to continue the video. Thanks for staying with me. It's a couple of days later, and I think I'm able now to speak a bit about the Beard Balm's performance, uh, but I really would like to share my thoughts about how both smell. Now, in terms of performance, I think both Beard Balm's perform well in the sense that uh, they both seem to soften my beard, uh, and I like that, uh, you know, the shine uh, lasts, um, and I think it even helped relieve uh, some of the itchiness that I've been experiencing. I'm in, I have that sort of, I'm in that phase of growth where the beard or my skin is uh, itchy. Um, and so uh, I'm pleased with, you know, with the performance of the beard balm. Um, and, you know, I noticed that when I wake up, uh, the beard uh, seems my face and beard seems to continue to be moisturized uh, and I still had that shine. I like that. Now, uh, in terms of how Supreme and the Sandalwood Bourbon smell, uh, both of them smell fresh uh, and both are sweet smelling. Uh, they remind me of sort of a barbershop type fragrance. Now, the company does have a barbershop uh, scent beard balm, just to point that out. But it reminds me of a barbershop type of a smell. I, I really think that they smell uh, like a pleasant, you know, lotion or even a shaving cream. Uh, and they have a, a slight soapiness or soapy type smell to them. Fresh, fresh in, in, in that way. And I think that both balms uh, smell somewhat floral uh, and I would characterize both of these balms as being very fragrant. These are indeed very fragrant balms. So uh, the day before yesterday, uh, I started uh, by wearing the Supreme Beard Balm and I wore it for several hours and I liked it. Uh, and I then rinsed off that Beard Balm and I put on the Santa Wood Bourbon and my wife, uh, said something smells different in here. Uh, something smells different. Uh, and I, and I asked, uh, does it smell good? She says, it smells good. She said that a couple of times. And I said, it's not a cologne. Uh, it's a beard balm. And she said, it smells very good. I asked her what it smells like. She said that she thought it smelled uh, sweet. Uh, she said it smelled fresh. Uh, and, and I agreed with that, uh, and she said that it, and she, I, I told her what it was, a beard balm, sandalwood, bourbon, she, she could detect, uh, the sandalwood, she thought it smelled like sandalwood, I, not so much, to be quite honest, uh, but then the more, the mo, but then, the more that I smelled it, I don't know if it's from knowing it's sandalwood, and my wife, recognizing, uh, detecting the sandalwood, I started thinking that I smelled sandalwood. I don't know, but she said it smelled uh, earthy, and I agree with that. And now I'm thinking it smells like sandalwood, but I 
guess I can detect I can detect a little bit of a woodsy sort of uh, a scent. Now, the next day, I put on the Supreme, and I asked my wife how I smelled, and she said I smelled good. Uh, I pointed out that I was wearing uh, a different one from the day before. She thought that it smelled similar, and I had maintained all along, in my mind, that they, they, they smelled very fresh, very sweet, very good, but, but there's a slight difference. But uh, somewhat noticeable when you wear them. I then had both beard balms uh, and held them out and asked her to smell both and I asked her which one smelled better and the day before that remember she liked the suburban suburban <laughs> remember, the, the day before that she liked the um, sandalwood bourbon uh, but the next day when I asked her to smell uh, she smelled both and she liked the Supreme. And she pointed out that the Supreme smells better in the jar. And that was my initial uh, thinking uh, when I first smelled uh, the Supreme. Uh, and then the Santa would I like the Supreme better in the jar. But I think having said that, uh, I wanted just to point out that uh, I continue to think that for whatever reason, the Supreme smells better when I smell it. Uh, in the container but, but I really like and they're very very similar in, in my opinion uh, in, in terms of how they smell uh, and perform uh, but I like the sandalwood bourbon and if I were to buy uh, either of these again it would definitely be uh, the sandalwood bourbon now I wanted to point out that I bought this on amazon.com uh, and I bought uh, both of them for uh, $9.99. That's $9.99 each. Okay, I'll be wrapping up this video very soon, but I wanted to point out, remember I mentioned that my wife thought that something smells different. She could detect it. It was a different smell uh, and that I smelled good. Uh, and, you know, during that conversation, she said to me, you know, maybe you should uh, consider, you know, foregoing or not wearing the cologne and maybe you could just wear this instead of the cologne. I think that she thought it projected well enough and that it smelled good enough that I could wear uh, the beard balm in lieu of cologne. Uh, and she was serious. And she, again, really liked the way uh, that the beard balm smelled. So that's just something to consider as it relates to uh, how fragrant this beard balm is. Uh, and, you know, it does, again, smell very good. Uh, it's floral, it's fresh and sweet not too sweet but sweet and very very pleasant uh something to consider uh with all of that said thank you for your patience in watching this video i hope you have an amazing day until next time take care